hi guys welcome back to the channel i've seen it a lot of times in the comments they're asking me for tips on how to improve their bowgun gameplay they're asking why i don't run out of ammo they're asking how come i craft ammo so fast and also what are my camera settings i'll tackle all those things in this video and hopefully you guys get it so we'll start off with my camera settings so as you can see here my camera settings are camera shake is off I didn't touch camera controls camera speed is fast reticle speed is fast gunner reticle speed is fast um, gunner reticle direction is camera's direction i turned off gunner aim assist because sometimes it messes up my aim like for example it's gonna go slow then suddenly go fast so i just turned that off these things i did not touch them i did not change them but the most important thing here is camera distance always make it 100 so that you see a lot of things happening okay if you put it at zero i just don't see the point you're not gonna see the whole monster's behavior and that would just put you in a very difficult situation because you know when you range when you get hit you die okay when you get hit you die so with gyroscope i don't use gyro a lot of people think that i do use gyro but no no I, I don't use gyro and no offense i really think it's just stupid although some people get used to it but me i'm not used to it i'm and i'm not planning to get used to it so yeah i i just uh i just turned off gyro functionality i don't use it at all so next would be game settings in the game settings i just change this one hit effects i just made it less because it's kind of bothersome at times especially when you're playing pierce there's a lot of effects on your screen so i just want it to be less a bit you know just less a bit these are the most important things that you should change in the controls tab uh what i did was the directional buttons i made them item bar and made this thing item bar as well they're the same so you're not gonna see your action bar there. So that's why most of my hunts, you wouldn't see the action bar. With the action bar, it's harder to switch with your, um, it's harder to switch with your ammo. Like for example, look at this. So this is without the action bar, right? So I can just flip up and down, up and down, directional button up and down. Then I can switch with my other ammo types, right? That's good, it feels good. But if you, but if you actually put that thing back again to where it was before, like make this, action bar make it action bar look i cannot switch i cannot switch you see for me to switch i have to hold down this button here and then it's x and b see i have to always hold the button before i can switch and that's that's really annoying because you can't fire okay so that's the difference that's why the action bar is non-existent in my runs you're gonna see it there if you look at every video there's no action bar there so once again make this one uh controls make this one item bar radial menu settings would be type 2 and um this one as you can see right here if you hold down l and with the right analog stick that is radial menu controls so what's gonna happen the combination of this one and also type 2 radial menu settings would allow you to actually use items at will here like originally if you don't actually tweak those settings what would happen is wherever your um, radial menu is pointed at you're automatically going to use it but here even though i'm pointing at might seed it won't use it it's going to wait for me to push r3 for me to use it see so next up here is a lot of people are asking me how can i improve my aim well um practice practice because before i play a lot of fps games before i transition to monster hunter that is why i'm using guns instead of melee weapons because i got used to ranged weapons and i would like to always have the capacity to play fps without messing up my aim because you know in monster hunter at least guns you aim with the analog stick so your aim wouldn't be lost so what i do usually to improve my aim is this you have these targets right here right you have these targets so what i do is i just attach my crosshair there okay just follow it down follow it down okay there and follow it down i'm just following it down this one follow it again you can just repeat these things really you don't really have to shoot i mean you can shoot if you want but not really needed you can but it's mostly just trying trying to keep your crosshair sticked like glued to the center you know you're trying your best just repeat that every time you open the 
every every time you open the switch i guess maybe five minutes to improve your aim you know just improve your aim you can also do circular motions circular just do circular motions like for example this one just draw a circle on the lamp draw a circle on the lamp okay then here draw a circle on the lamp okay even my aim is like quite rusty right draw a circle on the lamp it wouldn't pass in an fps game i wouldn't be able to kill like 20 people in an fps game at this rate you know but you know in monster hunter you can and one pro tip is i don't know if this is going to make sense do not do not follow the monster does that make sense do not follow the monster rather familiarize yourself with the monster's movement that you pre-aim it like for example if rathalos is in the pitfall trap the movement of rathalos head is usually identical it doesn't change okay so you just gotta imagine it so that instead of really going where the head is you're already pre-aiming it so therefore you'll get your shots in easier it's the same when a monster staggers when a monster falls when a monster gets up try to familiarize yourself with the movement and yeah you'll get better results you should know the difference between your crosshairs this is obviously self-explanatory it's out of range and this is in range but the thing is there's also another reticle where in you should always make sure that you are in you shouldn't fire your shots at this type of reticle you should only fire shots with this type of reticle if it's slicing or sticky okay slicing or sticky other than that are no bueno don't don't fire those uh those don't fire those ammo types with this type of reticle majority of the shots that you have for lbgs and hbgs you should always look for this reticle see it's different there's a small circle right in the middle okay you should always be looking for that because that would mean you are at critical distance okay now let's discuss item loadouts this is how you should make your item loadouts as a gunner this clean loadout i have mega potions i have might seed power charm power talon armor charm i'm supposed to have an armor talon but i'm just lazy to get one so you should get one if you have one and pitfall trap shock trap flash bomb just in case nullberry and antidote these are the things that always stay first in my clean slate okay and then how you make the item loadout is depending on your gun let's say for example what are we using we are using the sinister shadow ball okay this is magnamalos lbg and we know it fires sticky three we know it fires slicing we know it fires spread three actually let's pull up the um let's pull up the ammo table right there it can fire spread three shrapnel three sticky three even cluster bombs exhaust ammo two demon ammo flaming ammo freeze ammo piercing dragon slicing trank um, it's a lot it's a lot okay are you gonna carry all those things it depends it depends for my gameplay for my game style how i'm gonna hunt it's just gonna be like sticky three when it gets stunned i'm gonna put slicing or i can alternate between slicing and spread when the monster is down it's up to you if you want to put shrapnel but for me i'm just gonna focus on sticky three slicing and also spread three okay so the way we'll make our loadout is like this go to transfer items okay sort your ammos then here so you're gonna primarily use sticky three right but you gotta put sticky one because you're gonna use sticky one to craft more sticky threes so put sticky three right there sticky one is there sorry sticky one is there then put three then we're gonna put more okay now we're gonna use spread three right we're gonna use spread three it's the same thing we gotta put spread one there because you're gonna use spread one to craft more spread threes so just put it there what's the next thing that we're gonna use slicing okay slicing doesn't have like a, another level ammo doesn't have slicing one two three so you just put slicing so the next thing that we're going to put here always is trank ammo okay if you want to go for a cap you just trap you trank that's it easy so we have sticky spread and also slicing is that all no not not that's not everything you need more okay you need more so what you would need here is so we have a sticky one you gotta have blast nuts to craft more sticky ones okay you have spread three spread one 
you can go and put more needle berries for spread one ammo but usually it doesn't really last that long i mean you wouldn't need to you wouldn't need to because you're rotating between spread threes and slicing here so one and three is just it's 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 enough it's enough but for slicing you, you're gonna need slash berries okay slash berries is that it no okay you're crafting level three ammo here so you're gonna need this is really basic guys so for the people that are not new to the channel i'm i'm sorry you guys are not learning anything new from here you might actually scold me if i'm saying something inaccurate here uh oh crap i cannot sort i cannot sort where's gunpowder three okay okay i was looking for this okay gunpowder level three all right okay you don't you won't need any gunpowder to craft slicing ammo you wouldn't need you wouldn't need you would need gunpowder level three to craft more spread threes you would need gunpowder level three to craft more sticky threes okay so that's how it's done all right so this is your whole loadout if ever you're gonna run the magnum Allo lbg with slicing sticky and spread how do we fix that in our radial menu so what we're gonna do is we go to radial menu settings quests you see all these things right for the video's sake we're gonna we're gonna create a new one so we're gonna name this sticky slicing oof crap okay so we're looking at here there are things already placed here i'm gonna get rid of those things make it a clean slate okay there we go okay so what we do here is we put our ammos in it's up to your preference where you put them but this is how you actually make it so you're gonna craft sticky threes right so i put sticky threes here craft find your sticky three in the craftables you're usually gonna see them not lit up like it's not highlighted because you already have the maximum amount of sticky threes to have so you just go instead of one by one make it craft all this is sticky three then just beside it for me i just put it beside so i won't i would not get confused so i'll put this one sticky one not sticky two put sticky one okay so sticky one is just gonna need blast nuts okay but sticky three is gonna need sticky one and gunpowder level three so what you do is when you craft ammo it's usually sticky ammo one first then three ammo one three okay the next one is the spread spread ammo we won't need to craft spread ones right we won't need so it's just spread three where is spread three there we go that's spread three make it all next one is slicing put slicing uh huh Put slicing there you go slicing okay we have our ammo set up like this is stickies for our sticky management this is for spread and this is for slicing next is it's up to you sometimes i put buffs here sometimes i put traps but it my preference i usually put the map here for easy access you know when when i'm teleporting immediately especially on runs uh where's that other detailed map okay i just put the detailed map there and here i just put let's put a mega potion maybe no no let's not put a mega potion just this one will do a might seed would do okay so there it's saved it's saved there sticky slicing okay sticky slicing sticky slicing spread um but the thing is if you do this okay but then when you go to your radial menu see it's nothing nothing's there you have to register it so you just go here back again Press start and um, press start. Go to radial menu settings, quests. So you're here, right? So what you do is you press L2. I'm sorry, I'm using I'm using a PS4 controller, so that's gonna be a bit confusing. I think it's ZL. Edit menu loadout. Yeah, it's ZL. So here you press here, then you choose the thing you just edited it with this sticky slicing three. So you just place it there. See? So when you go back. There you go there you have it it's there then you just use a directional button you can still put other radial menu setups here 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 
but me i just place it here because i'm lazy man i just need one one radio menu load out there then i always just use this i i rarely use these things you know these shortcuts i just use one so it's up to you it's up to you okay next thing that we're gonna discuss is the ammo order okay you can't base this on the training area okay because it's just gonna mess it up because in the training area every ammo in the gun would be available for you to shoot you gotta go to a quest so that the game recognizes the ammo that you're truly carrying what do i mean by ammo order it's gonna get really annoying because uh if you are planning to use sticky three and spread three and also slicing only it's kind of hard to sort it out if you're gonna jump like look at this sticky three spread three then spread one then slicing it's annoying right because you would want to get the ko then switch to spread three or get the ko and switch slicing but how do you sort this so what we do is of course oh shit don't forget register register once you made the loadout okay register it here i'm gonna register it don't ever forget to save your loadout so i saved the loadout here at number four but then we're gonna fix our loadout. So here's how we do it. Okay, you get out first, I'm sorry. You get out. Don't go there, just go out and fix it in your item pouch. So what you do, you put sticky three here and you put slicing here, okay? Or you can put three here, you can put sticky here, you can put slicing here. So what would that mean? If you're using sticky three ammo, on top of it would be spread, and below it would be slicing it's up to you you can make it you can make sticky up here so you can go spread then slicing it's up to you for me i just want it to be like this if i go sticky three i get the ko i switch to slicing and i hop like two steps then i go to spread so what would happen here's what would happen look at the ammo order right now you have no power over normal one it's always going to be there it's it's annoying so if i switch to sticky three look look at the ammo table now if I go up, that's spread three. If I go down, that's slicing. Okay, that's good. And after you've made those, uh, after you made those um, changes, always save your loadout. Manage items, item loadouts, and yes, save item loadout to this slot. So it's gonna be forever tied to that spot. So you just have to switch here. Give switch here. It's clean. You can make another template know the ammo that you're going to use with a gun with the build and just put them there and fix your radial menu and here here's an example of the fixed one and i have a fixed radial menu as well you wouldn't run out of ammo now here slicing for sticky management for spread and for slicing and if you want to buff there so let's see how it goes like for example i do stickies I shoot stickies, stickies, stickies. Keep shooting. So sticky ammo three is at five. So what I do first is craft this and craft this. Okay. Now it's back to nine. See, same for spreads. Do note that you cannot, you cannot craft while firing. Obviously you can't. Firing and craft, firing while crafting, you can't. And crafting while reloading, you can't as well. See, I tried to craft there while reloading. I'm gonna reload again. See the reload animation, keep a watchful eye, okay? I'm gonna craft, I can't, I can't craft, see? It blocked me out. Sticky ammo three is still at two. You can only craft when you're idle. See, you can only craft now. You can't craft while shooting. You can't craft while reloading, but you can craft while moving like this. You can, you can. All right, before you can, but I think they got rid of that because everyone was abusing the cluster thing. Uh, when they're firing clusters, they're crafting cluster shots at the reload animation. Therefore, they have endless clusters. But of course, it's limited to amount of bomb berries that you have. But yeah, it's, you know, it's technically good enough if you have like spare shot level three. But yeah, they got rid of that. So be mindful when you craft, okay? Be mindful when you craft. And that's it. That's how you fix your radio menu. That's how you save it. And that's how you save the item loadout and how you make an item loadout. And that's also how you change the order of the ammo types. And uh, yeah, I, I hope that helps. And if you're a new gunner, welcome, welcome. You are an, a new gun sexual. Thank you for watching the video and good luck. See you in the next video. I'm a bag of